These are the eyes of a young girl, barely out of high school. Her name is Alice Trenton, and she's been on a long, long trip. But unlike the fabled Alice in Wonderland, this Alice never saw the Cheshire Cat, the Mad Hatter, or the Queen of Hearts. This Alice traveled through the dark and endless caverns of Acid Land. The place for her was no fairy tale. Psychiatrist for the state, I've been faced with some strange and but none stranger than the story I'm about to tell you. Alice on her first year of junior college, and until she was introduced to Frida Hamilton, a young Frencher, she had been a normal, well-adjusted young lady. I was flattered his interest in me. And when she suggested Kathy and I join her Saturday afternoon for a pool party, I accepted. Alice's mother had died of cancer the year before, and therefore it was perfectly normal. What Dan Trenton didn't realize was that a drastic change was taking place in his daughter's personality. She was coming out of her shell, who had been missing in her life. I, I told him what theater. The recent introduction of LSD, or acid as it is sometimes called, could destroy completely the moral responsibilities of our younger generation, as this case clearly illustrates. Frida was using Bob Fletcher's house for the party so she could introduce me to the in-group. I found out later Bob Fletcher was a physical education teacher. I guess she looked at me as a diamond in the rough that needed polishing. 